Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI, welcome you right back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 2, this is episode 2. In last episode, we did the whole opening section and we were told to go to Fagol next, which is up north I think over the bridge. Well, we'll have a look around anyway. Uh, in between last episode and this one, I did a little bit of stack grinding. For some reason, Guy keeps having more HP given to him. Maria and Firion, uh, uh, I, don't know, I don't know how this is going to go, but I did. I got loads of money. Because of the four times money, I've turned that off now. And magic wise, they've all got a little bit of something. Like, I want everyone to have cure and revival life. I, I want everyone to have that and a sooner. You, you know, that sort of stuff. Um, she's got all the damaging magic. I'm taking up with fire now. I've done Blizzard a level, so I'm going for fire next. Uh, he is getting some fire guy and him some thunder, Firion. So I want them all to have a little bit of something, you know? You might as well. So let's get cracking, let's get moving on to the next area. Let's check what's up here first though. Because God knows I don't know what's up there. New enemy, the goblins. I say new. <laughs> new you haven't seen them yet in this game. So let's just kill them off really quick. Every now and again I'll do a bit of grinding so that their magic will go up along with Maria's, even though Maria's gonna be most gonna be doing most of the magic damage, I'd imagine. So we can't go anywhere up here. Ooh, it's a bridge. Lag it does. Okay, we're still on these enemies. I remember this is a game that's known for... Known for... Like, you can go out of your way a bit easily and get killed. So, I don't really want that. So much. <laughs> I think we need to go across here. Right? Some more hornets. Okay, at least the fights are really quick in this game. For the most part. When I was trying to... I was trying to force the max HP to go up. Ooh, Firion's max HP for no reason. Good. I'm a Rears. I was trying to force it for ages and it just never happened. And now it's just happened. Automatically. So quickly. Anyways. There's only one way we can go and that's directly more up north than by the looks of it. Bit of ambush, that's fine. I don't mind using MP in this game. Like most Final Fantasies, I tend to keep the MP for the boss at the end of a dungeon or something like that. But in this game, it's like you keep on boosting your max MP. You, you should never have many issues, you know? Especially since spells don't really take much MP until they level up a bit. So there's, there's not really an issue there. Small hornets, okay. When it comes to cutting random battles, like normally I will I will come out. But like with Final Fantasy 1, the, the random battles are just really quick in this game. Y you know, it's like, it doesn't really matter. Where have we found? Gatria. Okay, where are we to? Village Gatria. Finn is just over there across the lake, see? Um, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna use the inn. It's getting quite expensive now. <laughs> oh, it does depend on how much health and stuff we've got left. Only 13. Screw it. Go on then. <laughs> I'll do it. Pleasant dreams. Why, thank you. Alright. Notice we've only got three party members. Who knows what's going on with, with Leon? Who knows? A couple of potions and stuff. I think I will buy a couple more since we have some spare cash. Um, start the sailman stuff. I'm going to leave. Phoenix Downs. I'm uh, tempted by getting one just in case, but I'll leave it for now. The enemies around this area are easy anyway. Imperial forces have occupied Castle Finn. The gates are drawn and no one can enter. And with Imperial troops and monsters roaming the streets, the city isn't any better off. So how do we get in there then? It's a pub just on the outskirts of Finn. When the Empire invaded, the barkeep didn't make it out in time. He says we're still working there, pouring drinks for the Imperials. I guess that's a hint. Revival place, oh, Gidok. I've had to use that once, yep. Yeah. Not this one, the one in the other town. Gatria and Altair haven't fallen into the clutches of the Empire yet. Once the Dreadnought's complete, nothing will be able to stop the Empire. Mm hmm. Another shop. Anything any good? Same as before. Leather armor I could get for Maria, but I'd rather have a better at magic. I think that might be the better option. I like the mini-map at the top right. You can see where things are in the town. These pixel remasters really are good. Broadsword, no, nope, all the same stuff. No, nope, okay. I wonder if we can have the javelin in the back row. I'm not really sure. Like, will it do the same amount of damage in the back row, is what I mean. Um, doesn't seem to be any NPCs around here. It's only a small town that I haven't spoken to, I mean. Okay. 
let's keep on going then. So are we going up or left? We came from... Hmm, actually... Hold on a minute. <laughs> let's just kill off these guys. These guys can do poison, that's a bugger. But I think the stat settlements go away once we finish a battle, don't they? Like, we've had poison once or twice when we were down at the, the opening town. And it didn't seem to stick around after the fight, so... I'm guessing these guys are weak to fire. I'm using it against them, so... Yeah. I've heard with this game, it might be better just to go all out physical attackers. I've heard as a as a way of playing the game. And, you know, how boring is that? Have a bit of variety. Are we going left across here or are we going north? Can you go? Oh, you can't go north. Okay, left it is then. Yes, let's keep it, keep it going. But yeah, every now and again, with your fighters, if you're going to use a bit of magic with them like I am, well, well you know, have the option of magic. Um, it's good to grind a bit sometimes to get that magic up a level or two. Otherwise, the magic's just not going to be effective. Ooh, these are new. Fire's going to be good against these guys as well, so why not? Yeah. Oh, I didn't kill it. Oh, shit. I don't think I'm meant to be here yet. It's done 16. I'm definitely... Oh. Thank you, autosave. That's, oh, Jesus Christ, man. What are we supposed to do with that? Yeah, start from there. That's insane. Did I still... I didn't do anything in this town anyway, did I? I didn't. I bought a couple of items. Yeah, still got the potions. Okay. But how, how are you meant to know? Right, square. Okay. <laughs> how are you meant to know... Where to go next? Because you can't go left. The town of Finn, I think, might be that big town just north of the Red Arrow. And I think that's where we need to go. But how if the enemies are that tough? Or am I supposed to have level grinded more and got more stats by now? <laughs> I've done a fair bit, you know. I was wandering around just, you know, getting, getting, having a fair few battles in between. Strength up good. Uh, between episodes. We'll go up instead then. Oh, that's good. So, it's because we went down there, I think. You know what? I might take the bow off of Maria while it's still early on and give her a staff. I really think it might be a good idea. Because I'm not attacking with her really, anyway. I'm either defending or using magic. Maybe. Okay, we have made it. Well, nearly. <laughs> See, as our weapons are leveling up, we're getting more hits in, and look how much damage we're doing. We could actually be more strength again. Nice. I think it's quite random when you get that stuff, you know. But I was just going to say, what was I going to say? I got distracted by the strength increase. I don't know. <laughs> it's gone. It's just as we've heard, the city's crawling with Imperial soldiers. We have to be careful, make sure not to get too close. I mean... <laughs> oh, it looks like we can have random encounters as well as the Imperial to stealth around. I don't like stealth in games. So I am a little bit nervous about this part coming. Turn off the auto battle just in time. Here we go. What a battle, so good. It speeds up the game so much. Intellect goes up. Good. It's said to go to the pub. Somebody said, go to the pub. It'll solve all your problems, like it solves all of life's problems. <laughs> yes, we need to find it. Some bloke is still making booze. We stayed behind to make booze for people. Is this the place? I don't think it is. Just an empty house, innit? Can you get items from from barrels and stuff yet, or is that are we still too early on in the? Yeah, too still too early on in the series, I think. Hello, Jiggles. Okay, plenty of enemies around you. Let's uh, 
take care of him. This is, it is a good thing in disguise. I'm going to still call it the XP, probably. Sort of is, right? <laughs> okay. A lot of enemies, so Maria's not going to be able to just defend and not use her magic. You can spread magic in this game. You can choose to or not. There's a lot of progression from this to the from the first game to this one. Fire leveled up. Nice, we got fire too. Um, but... Oh, can't go up there. But nothing. Oh, yes, that's all I was going to say. <laughs> 69? I hate it so much when people bring up 69 as this funny number. It's like, grow up. <laughs> I just did it for the sake of it. Furious Mom, HP and Maria. Good. Good, good, good. Those two need more. Ooh, what's that? Divide 100 enemies. Oh, shit in hell. Already. Anything going on in here? Nothing? Okay. Am I thinking of the wrong game? Wasn't there a time when, if we went into these sort of stealthy, these shops, there would be Imperial soldiers come in and go, What are you doing in here? You know, because you got tempted to go in there. I swear that used to happen in this game, but I might be thinking of a, of a different game entirely. Right, so we got to the other side of him. Mm. The encounter rate in this place is insane. Okay, so we've got level 2 of fire. Let's work on thunder and see how much damage that does. Yeah, I don't think their, their weakness is fire. They look like it. They're planty, but maybe not. I might be wrong. I don't know. Thunder up. She is easily going to be our mage. Look at the MP increase on that. And magic goes up. Magic defense goes up. HP for guy. We're getting some really good increases. I don't know if this version does it easier for you. Mm, nothing much going on in there. But we did get an auto save out of it, so. Happy days. I feel like I should be using a bit more magic with the other two. Because why not? Even if it's just cure. Get a bit more MP, if nothing else, you know? Where can we go? Whoop. More hornets. And I think I will, actually. Uh, cure. Go on, then. Maria. She hasn't got much max HP, so... She might have only have lost 8, M 8 HP. But when your max HP is only 43. <laughs> it's a decent amount, you know? This is cure once for now. It might be enough to take his MP up. Their MP up. Right, and that should now be enough to kill off the last two enemies. There it is. Ah, oh, no stat increases. Bugger. Where can we go now? We can't go down there. So I guess around the back of the trees once we get out of this fight. And I save a little bit of MP now for Maria, just in case there's a fight coming. I can't remember. There's going to be a lot of times where I can't remember. Like, this is the part of the game I can remember the most. But <laughs> that doesn't say much. I feel like we're still getting through the fights really easily, though. And that is absolutely a plus. A bit more strength for Guy. Happiness. Come on, let's go around here. Wow, the amount of enemies. Right. Okay, Thunder, go on then. Thunder 1. <laughs> when that one enemy when we're out on the world map then? Thunder, uh, stun 16. I mean, come on now. We're at the very start of the game. I think you can actually go to quite a late town game at this point in the game. Oh, missed. Um, if you wanted to, you just turn off the random encounters and away you go. So you might be able to get some really good equipment already. Put the gill on four times and, you know, you get it slowly. Might be worth doing. I'm not going to do it. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. But, you know, it, it might be a thing. He tried to flee. Oh, shit. Typical goblins. Cause mischief and then try and run away. Furian sword and leveling up anymore. Why is that? I don't know. Let's see if we can get the bow leveling up a bit for Maria as well. I feel like I'm not seeing any stats go down. I remember on the PS1 version, 
your stats used to go down. Like, if you used strength, your magic would go down, you know? You know? I'm sure of that. Anyways. We made it to the pub. Oh, shit. H hello. <laughs> Didn't expect to see all that, yeah. Whoa! Where do you think you're going? Customers aren't allowed behind the counter. He's in pure soul, ill-bred as they come. Wild Rose. You're with the rebels. You'll find a secret door in this wall. There's a wounded soldier back there. Go see if you can help him. I've had it with this place. You guys can take it from here. Don't let us down. Okay. Did the Imperial Army not care that their source of booze is leaving? I guess not. Ooh, some items. Potion. Okay. Potion. Mm. Oh, <laughs> I was expecting some equipment. Are you going to turn me over to the Empire? At least have the decency to kill me first. I don't want them to take me alive. Wild Rose. So you're rebel soldiers, are you? My name is Scott. I'm the Prince of Kashuan. <gasps> the other bloke was in our town. Prince Scott, we were told you fell in the battle. Thank goodness you're still alive. I am, but not not for, not for much longer. I'm afraid I must ask a favour of you. It's something you must, must tell my brother Gordon. Okay. Tell him I know he has great strength. He must learn to have more faith in himself. I also have a message for the king. Tell him the reason Finn, Finn fell so quickly, is that Count Borgen betrayed us. He's been made a general in the Imperial Army. There's one more thing. Tell Hilda. Tell Hilda I love her. Dow. No, no, don't deliver that last message. The confessions of a dying man. They would only bring her pain. My brother Leon. Have you heard of him? I'm sorry, I have not. I wish I could be of more help. Oh, we thought he'd be here. Here, I want you to take my ring. I'm sure it'll be of use. Yes, I'm sure it will be. <laughs> Maybe it's all this talking, but I've grown extremely tired. If you'll excuse me, I just need to rest, just for a little while. Hmm, face first. Not the best way to die. We obtained Scott's ring. Victory music! Dead bloke! But we got a ring! Okay, so we got a key item. A memento from Scott, apparently someone in, someone in Gatria knows how to use it. Ooh, Gatria, okay, good to know. Good job we checked that. Let's get going. Let's get back out here now. We've got to avoid the Imperials, because they're just as tough as they were in that opening that opening battle, so you've got to, got to be good. I think they might chuck you out. Do they fight or chuck you out? Not too sure, but either way, we can just we can leave now. If the exit wasn't, <laughs> wasn't protected by these guys. Um, go on, let's cure. Why not? That's the thing. This battle system does teach you to use things that you normally wouldn't, I guess. Makes the battles a bit more thought-provoked. Sort of, I guess. Right, and we'll cure him. Get a bit more thunder on the go and attack. We haven't got anything like Panacea or... Assume that or anything like that yet. I would like it. I think you might be wondering how does that get affected by like leveling up? And I think the higher the level, the more accuracy it has. Guy's MP increased. Good. He needed a he needed a, a bit for Kiwa. I'd like Kiwa to level up in general, but it's, it's not. Ah, uh, we can't get into the castle. Nice music there. Let's try and make sure not to, uh... Ooh, wait. Try and make sure not to go in the areas that have tough enemies now then. I know it's got autosave and it's not a real risk. It takes away a bit of the risk of the game when autosave saves you. Um, but even still. You still don't want to die, really. See, our weapons ain't going up on experience anymore. Furion's health, Amavia's good. That's where we like some more strength for guy. We're getting some good level ups now and again. So, I see the yellow dot. There's no teleporting in this game. At least, not yet. I don't think... Can you teleport a warp in the game later on? If the first game lets you, then... Does the second one at some point? I don't know. I'm trying to keep to the water. <laughs> Just so I definitely don't cross some sort of boundary. Come on, Thunder, level up. I can't be too far off now. Thunder leveled up. Yeah. Okay. Right. There was someone who wanted the ring in this town. I guess it's giving you... Um, I guess it's making uh, the backtracking a bit less tedious. If it's like, 
go to this town along the way and do something. You know, it, it's not quite as bad. So I am seeing the positives of this game. Don't get me wrong. More MP. Okay. But at the same time, it's uh, there are some downsides to the system, in my opinion. Right, should we should we use the in here? If you want it, see that's not much gill. We just went through like a town or a dungeon in the guise of a town. So I guess we've had our first dungeon. No, not really. I know. Yeah, who can we talk to? I didn't see anyone we could actually give uh, the ring to. Am I missing something? Check every building again. Mm. Look how much money we got. When we get to the next town, I'm sure it's going to be some good stuff to buy. I don't want to give them anything. I want to... Hmm. I don't think... Let's check that key item again. Someone in Gatria knows how to use it. But they don't. Maybe there'll be someone you're after? You know, once we talk to the, the guy, his brother. Yeah, <laughs> I can, can remember if that was the right way or not then. Right, so Kiwa, maybe we should start using Kiwa more now. But is it, does it level up if the person doesn't actually need it? Don't know. We're going to try. <laughs> I'll try and use it on a character who needs it, but yeah, you just never know. I want her to get up to Kiwa 2, then she'll be on all level 2s, you know. So, why not? It's just hard to have your fighters use use white magic or use magic in general when it's not really going to benefit them too much, for the most part, when you've got a designated mage. She is my Vivi, my Rydia. Kiwa leveled up, nice, and Gaia, Guy's axe leveled up. Uh, evasion goes up for Guy as well. Okay, plenty of gill. Do you see how the gill was split up? Like each enemy gave you a bit of gill. I quite like that. It's a bit odd, but it's there. Okay, and in we go. Like I said, I think I will swap out with the weapon shop. <laughs> I think I will swap out the bow for a staff for our... Uh, yeah, for you. I just don't see the point in the bow when it's not doing damage anyway, hardly. Attack goes up anyway. More mad... Mm, magic. Yeah, look at the magic interference. goes way down. Why wouldn't you do that? Accuracy goes up. Evasion goes down. Okay, that's a bit of a bugger, but... Yeah, so there we go. The I think that's good. Nothing happens with the ring. Okay, let's see his brother then. I can't remember his name. Gordon. Hmm. I was once a Prince of Cash one. Ask. Uh, ring. That ring, it's my brother's. You really said all those things about me? Yeah. I mean, I've, I've given something. Yeah, so you should have more confidence now. The other thing he told us to do was go and see the king. And we saw he was in the room over by, yeah. So let's, let's do that. Um, speak with him. Okay, okay. He did say to come and see. It's like everything he told us to do is not really benefiting us at all. That ring belonged to Scott. Is he still alive? No. Here we go. This is what we were meant to do. He gave us this ring in Finn, just before he lost the last of his strength. Did he say anything? Nothing. They're not going to tell us. Your Highness, please. The ring belongs to you. No, keep it. It suits a personage of courage. You infiltrated Finn and returned to tell the tale. You've proven yourselves quite capable. It would seem I underestimated your strength. I would have you lend that strength to our cause. There's a magical metal known as Mithril. We need strong warriors if we were to obtain it. Learn. Let's ask about it. 
We lost Finn because we were ill-equipped. The Empire fought with weapons and armour made of mithril. I charged Joseph, a man living in Salamand, with the task of finding a source of mithril. I do not know the cause, but we've been out of contact with him for some time now. Would you go with Minwoo to Salamand to look into this? Yeah, sure. Ooh. The rebellion commenced against the Palamecian Empire. Okay, story based. I heard Your Highness's words of her and her have waited here a few since. To reach Salmond, we must first pass through the port town of Paloom. Take my canoe and let's be on our way. Paloom, you say? We got Minwu! We got a white mage! I know we got Maria, who's incredible, but we've also got a designated white mage now. And we got a canoe! I'm not sure where to go. We were told. Is it over to the east? Dreadnought. Ooh, another one. Lucky I got back here then. The Empire is using the people of Basque to build the Dreadnought. Dreadnought itself is a massive, heavily named, heavily armed airship. Just learn that. My name's Sid. You're Sid. The former captain of Finn's Order of the White Knights built an airship. It's a ship that sails the skies, but the airship captivated him. Body and soul, and he soon left Finn. We are poor for his absence. I am told he now lives in Poft, granted travellers passage on his airship for a price. Hmm. Then he uses his money to make further renovations on the airship, or so the story goes. The more you know. Wild Rose seems to be white now. Why is it all done, in other words, is it? I don't know. Let's go and see the king now. Yeah, we lost God. He proposed to Hilda, you know. Now we'll never hear her answer. Who thought he'd make a fine husband for her? <laughs> Just try everything. Mythful? We believe Mithra was in common use once long ago. Same, some surviving records indicate Mithra was mined in the north near Semit Falls. Okay. Uh, Dreadnought? The Emperor of Odysse built such a weapon? First I've heard of such a thing. Uh, Wild Rose. Oh, Crest has been trampled underfoot. Borgen betrayed you? Yes. So we did that for him. Okay, so to the north is a waterfall, that's what it's saying, right? It's a lot to remember, you know? Like the first game, I could remember it easier for some reason. This game is a lot of key keywords and uh, stuff. If we can find some mythwell to give to our blacksmith, Tobal, I'm sure he'll be able to make some amazing weapons. Hmm. Should be able to use that canoe to cross the lake to the east and reach the port of Paloom. East, or north to waterfall. Should we go east first? I just I just think it would be good if we went east first. Hold on a sec. Maybe something's activated now. Uh... There was a mythical sword in Kashuan that had been handed down through the ages. My brother was very fond of that sword. Okay. Okay, doesn't seem to be much we can do with him. Let's go to the weapon shop a sec. <laughs> I try, I try. If they're red, we can ask them by the seams of it. If I had some mithril, I bet I could make some mighty impressive weapons and armour. I just don't know if we could afford it even if we, we did that, you know? I bet they're really good piece of equipment like Endgame. They sound it. Okay, let's try going east. Aha, Minwoo. Right, so we've got fire and cure. Let's just attack. Look at this with Minwoo. Switches HP and MP with the target. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're only low. A lot of spells are only low level, like level three higher than ours. But you know, punch target to another dimension or transports a party out of dungeons using HP. Using HP. Mm -hmm. Defend elemental attacks and stats ailments. Dispels a goodie. Asuna, good. Cure life. We got a revival one, but he's gonna use seven MP a time. But he's got 103 MP total. So, Basuna's good for stuff that wears off after battle. Poison being one. It seems good for stat elements in general. What's wall? Magic wall guards against magic attacks. But, and now what shell is for? Oh, hmm. Couple of good ones here. 
I'll check out Min. We'll now see what sort of equipment he's got. Maybe he can attack as well. You never know. He's in the front row for some reason. I'm going to put him in the back now. Yeah, let's do that. Um, we got a canoe to move around in. It's said to go east with the canoe. Ah, we can go in this big puddle. So we've got a shortcut over to a new town by yeah? And I guess this is the one, right? Let's see what our battle is like. Hornets. Okay, so yeah, we still got the easy fights. Minwoo, I'm going to keep back. I'm not going to be using MP. Because his magic is already really good. MP is already really high. So I'm not going to be using spells willy-nilly <laughs> for, for him. Yeah. So we've got a ship. But we can't actually use it. Okay. So this has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time when we go into this town that we were pointed towards. And we shall see... What's coming next? There should be a waterfall around you soon, somewhere too for the Mythful, but more on that next time, I guess. Thanks again for watching, folks. See you again in a bit.